Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Nurse channel. Here I talk about wellness, technology, travel, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. So today, we have something powerful in our hands. It's a 100 watt Anchor GAN wall charger, and it has the ability to charge three devices. And stick around, because you're gonna learn a whole lot more about this product. Just to let everybody know, this is not a sponsored review. I was not paid to create this review. And everything I say about this device is my own opinion and my own experiences with the device. So let's kick things off with a quick unboxing. Inside you'll find the sleek charger along with, you know, just your normal documentation of how to use it. Really, it's a simple, minimal packaging, not too much to it. It's ready to take out of the package and throw it into a wall for some charging action. So don't expect too much from the packaging. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is a GAN charger? It stands for gallium nitride. And what it is, is it's a new type of te charging technology that allows devices to charge cooler, quicker, and really with a whole lot more energy efficiency. It's all about efficiency with this new technology. And really, it also allows for the wall charger to be packaged in a smaller device all in all. So overall, it's certainly an upgrade from last generation charging technology. So keep an eye out for these types of devices in the near future. I think you're gonna see there's gonna be even more to come to market, especially with the, the high efficiency charging that we're seeing from these types of devices. So with this device, you're gonna see right off the bat that it contains three ports. It's a USB a port and a type and two type C ports right on the front of it and really it has a total combined wattage of 100 watts all in all so which means you know you could plug in one thing that requires 100 watt charging or you could plug in three things that in total require 100 watt charging but remember it's a total of 100 watts not 100 watts out of each port and I think that's an important point to touch on that it's a combined wattage. However, 100 watts is a lot these days and it's enough to charge most devices, especially Apple products, cameras, headphones, anything of that sort, easily 100 watts. Something like my gaming laptop behind me, I don't know if you can see the laptop in the corner, but something like that, it's not going to charge. It might keep it charged or maybe trickle charge it, um, but you know, during a heavy gaming session, that thing will not stay charged with 100 watts, unfortunately, although that would be great. So we touched upon the efficiency of these chargers, but we haven't really took a dive into the fast charging aspect of these devices. So these do allow for fast charging, and in fact, they measure the charging capacity of your device, and they measure you know, how much input they're giving it, and to ensure that it's a safe charging speed for the device. Again, this is newer generation technology. So it's really nice to see that these devices also support that fast charging feature. So this device really supports a compact and minimalist design aesthetic. It's really sleek, it's very travel friendly, compact in size, and again, it has the ability to charge up to three devices at once. So if you're one of those digital minimalists who travel with the least amount of tech that you can, you're gonna wanna make sure to maximize the amount that you could get out of each piece of it. And this, this certainly helps do that. And even me personally, I am a minimalist when it comes to travel and trying to cut down on how many bags I have. I do not like checking bags. So let's talk about some safety features of this device. So, you know, we already talked about how it's high efficiency, charges through devices, but it also has temperature control as part of it. And it actually measures your devices, your charging capacity of your device. And in an effort to minimize overcharging, reduce the temperature of the device and the battery, it also offers short circuit protection. And so all of this really adds to the life of the battery that you're charging. Right? You might notice that batteries 
decay over time. And then that's still gonna be true with any type of battery. But with a charger like this, it's just another step to help get the most longevity out of your device. And then finally, some real world testing scenarios. So I've taken this on planes, I've taken this on hotel trips, I charge stuff at my apartment, my parents' house, all over the place. It really doesn't have any issues. There is one thing to note though, if you have a loose wall socket because of the shape of the device, it tends to sometimes fall out of that. Not that it falls completely out, you're still able to kind of prop it back up in, but you might find that it starts to slip out of the socket if you tug on it a little bit. So, you know, just keep an eye out for those situations. I did have a situation when I was a pl on a plane recently and it kept falling out every time I, I accidentally maybe tugged on the cord slightly or got up to use the restroom or something like that. So just something to keep in mind, you know, it, the device, like any other wall charger, does have some weight to it, but for a 100 watt charger, it's probably one of the smallest you're gonna find in the industry as of the making of this video at least. So in conclusion, the Anchor 100 watt GAN, that's G-A-N, wall charger is very portable, travel friendly, sleek, and really packs a minimalist design. It has three ports to charge all of your devices on the go and is extremely travel friendly. So if this is something that you're interested in, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. And it is an affiliate link, just to be upfront and honest, but I only leave links for devices that I use, that I enjoy using, and that I could see other people using and enjoying as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content, and leave a little comment below and tell me your piece of minimalist travel tech.